Um, I've been flying large aircraft for 15, 20 years. It's taken me a little while to adapt to flying this from the normal stuff I fly, but aircraft's very easy to fly in the right conditions. Um, we have to sort of abide by what the weather throws at us, but generally speaking, it behaves quite docile. When we need it to um, do more hard manoeuvres, it's very capable of doing that. But generally, it flies in a very docile manner, which is quite pleasant to fly. We have a launcher, a pneumatic launcher, which we can fire the aircraft from, which is set up for the moment with the skids. We can take off in the distance of the launcher, basically, which is about three metres. Automated landings, we've got the use of a AGL system, which is a laser altimeter, um, which can pretty much pinpoint the landing for us. So that is very, very accurate. The skids will allow us to land it in pretty much any condition, um, from a smooth runway to a not so smooth ploughed field sort of thing. Um, we also have wheels that we can put on to take it off a tarmac and land on tarmac. Usually we'll take off in a manual mode um, and we'll take off and fly a circuit. The manual pilot would then check systems. He'll get the, the all clear that the autopilot's working correctly um, and then we'll hand her over to autopilot to predetermined points. So the, the autopilot will then follow predetermined flight paths. Um, we can change flight paths and flight tracks on the fly. That's no problem at all. We have auto, auto pilot systems which will allow us to pick up a GPS signal and take that further afield so we become beyond visual line of sight. We also have an Iridium set up in there which we can use a satellite to beam, in a, beam signals to it and get a relay from there so we can actually change mission parameters during the flight. If we lose communication with the aircraft, the aircraft will then automatically go into what we call a loiter, which is um, usually a 200 metre circle, and the aircraft will stay there until it either regains communications with itself or with the ground station crew. If it fails to do so, it will then try and land itself. And the landing approach we need is about 20 metres, 30 metres. Um, sort of runoff time from when we touch down with the skids and come to a halt so as long as we have clearance to do so we can get it down pretty much anywhere. We've got um, a very long flight duration we're running with um, a four-stroke engine which is fuel injected we can carry up to about 12-15 kilos of payload um, and our flight duration will be around 12 hours or so there's not many other drones around at the moment that can stand up to that sort of uh, payload and duration we can reconfigure sort of like certain areas of the aircraft so we can have a forward payload. Obviously, we're weight dependent on things, so we would, we'd have to rejig the internals. But, you know, basically from here to here, we can fill with uh, payloads and, and our flight gear can be moved around to, to suit. So, yeah, we're quite versatile there. We can do mapping, um, we can do aerial reconnaissance, we can load it up with cameras, we can put LiDAR in it. Um, it's very, very versatile, the payloads we can use. 